This is a comparison, not just with Luma, which is the obvious choice, but I've also gone through Hyper, Kyber, Lensgo, LTX Studio, and then Pika Labs. Runway has just blown everybody away by announcing its new video product, Gen 3, and the test videos look amazing. The fluidity, the way that the world seems consistent through motion, is really, really impressive. So I wanted to see how they are looking against the current crop of video tools and Luma, which was the king of the castle for a few days before Runway came and knocked Luma off the throne. And this is the throne, by the way, that apparently belongs to Sora, but Sora hasn't shown up out of the fitting room where it's trying on its robes and its crown. And we're still waiting for Sora to actually sit on the throne, but everybody's been dethroning Sora ever since. And so now Runway is the latest to dethrone Sora from its crown. Oh, dear me. Anyway, I wanted to see how it compared and because Runway very helpfully included the prompts along with their sample videos, I thought what will happen if we take those prompts and feed them into a bunch of other video tools to see how they compare. So this is a comparison not just with Luma, which is the obvious choice, but I've also gone through Hyper, Kyber, Lensgo, LTX Studio and then Pika Labs. So Hyper first of all, <laughs> um, not a bad result actually. You can see the four second clips were not as long as the 10 seconds that we were getting from Runway. But I thought I'll keep some of these uh, running, even though like this ant nest thing, pff, very few of the companies could manage to come close to that. But still some really, really interesting results. Not a bad job from Hyper. I like what they're doing. Um, and even hands all over the place. And this is what Runway has done really impressively. The continuity, the believability, very, very impressive. Kyber, um, nobody seemed to manage well with this um, train shot. But even so, you can kind of see where it's going. The astronaut in, the, uh, in Rio de Janeiro, always a great one to test. <laughs> but the hand running backwards. Again, the ant shot, almost none of the tools managed to make it outside of the ant hill. But they at least had some interesting ant shots. But again, movement falls apart very quickly. Um, it's interesting to see how differently the monsters were replicated in the monster shot. And it's also interesting to see how consistent the girls were who were driving the car. A lot of these um, shots ended up looking quite similar. Um, this was a very, very similar kind of vibe with Kyber's singing woman shot. Um, on to Lensgo, and well, <laughs> it's great. I mean, you've got the motion, and this guy is brilliant. Um, the, <laughs> we, he's definitely running. He's got his running shoes. The ant was getting really warped and crazy. I ran this through and through twice just to show you how this was looking. <laughs> uh, and then, now this was getting, ex the, the movement seems way off here. And you get a lot of crazy stuff going on, but Lensgo didn't do a bad job of at least trying to keep up. But you can see how it doesn't come close. LTX Studio has an unfair advantage because you can uh, you can change the length of the shots. But what often happened with LTX Studio is if you've got the default three second shot, you'll get kind of real life speed. Uh, as soon as you lengthen out the shot up to 12 seconds, it goes into slow motion more and more and more. So with some of these, I've shown the uh, speeded up version as well as the slowed down down version that you get with an extended 12 second shot. But um, LTX Studio did an honorable job at trying some of the movement though. It's the movement that starts to fall apart very, very quickly with a lot of these tools. And that's what Runway and, and um, Sora and a lot of these newer tools are doing very, very well. They're getting consistent motion. Um, again, this was another one where the girl in the car looked really usable, really plausible. But the singing one, uh, now watch her hands. Here we go. And we are off and we, yeah, it didn't work well. Pika, hey. Now, it wasn't that bad, but in fairness, Pika's results were the most wildly different to the prompt that um, we entered for the runway shot. Um, but you get to see yourself. It's usable, I suppose, maybe. But now Luma, this is where it's really, really interesting because Luma should be a like for like shot. And this is where you see very, very impressive levels of fluidity. This is where it starts to, the bar is raised. But when you look at them, Runways is impressive. Runways is impressive. Luma, that time as king on the castle, uh, sorry, that time as, 
the being the king on the throne didn't last long and now here we are with Luma just uh, doing an honorable job certainly better than all of the others but you can see that runway we're probably watching Luma coming out and going <laughs> hold my beer I got something to show you and so here we are with runways looking just so impressive that said runway hasn't released it yet it could be another Sora where you just wait and wait and wait and wait and wait but then again by the time this video drops um, by the time I've edited this it may be that runway has released it already. Now all this is very interesting but still it's text to video and as a narrative filmmaker the stuff I'm really interested in is video to video because that's where I get my control and I've been waiting for somebody to just pick up the baton particularly Runway after Gen 1 came out they were the leaders in the field and I'm like come on guys you're dropping the ball here I need video to video to come and so <gasps> it might be coming it's not mentioned on the website but in a post on X uh, there was a hint that video to video would be included. So that's what I want to see. That's what I'm excited about. Watch this space.